Familia, what's up? So happy to be here with you guys, sharing this sacred space. Let me know when you jump in. Let us know, let the community know where are you tuning in from. We want to see all the amazing vortexes of energy we're creating around the planet together. This is what I love about this, guys. We connect with our intention and we create, we create energy. We open up to the quantum field of infinite possibilities together. That's what this is all about. This is what I love the most about the lives. The rest is, you know, different themes that we do and different connections, but the most important is what we're creating together. We are connecting humanity on the 3D too, because of course we're all connected, of course we're all one, but on the 3D, connecting with intention, connecting with each other, being a conscious community that holds space for each other. Look at those beautiful comments coming through already. Yay! Hola from Canada, says Linda, Donata, beautiful Scotland from Angela. Yeah, Melinda, Mary, Trevor from Australia, Florentina, beautiful, Nelia from South Africa. You see, we got the world here, guys. The world is here, ready to do cacao together. So that's one of the first things we're going to talk about. And we are going to explain what's going to happen. Francesco Fratello, Howard, what's up? Connie, Anita, Cindy, beautiful, Kathy. And if you're just you know, watching the replay right now, please let us know you're tuning in. Please let us know you're connecting with the vortex. Let's all just have the intention of connect with the heart. Just being available, just being open. You know, wherever your mind goes, wherever your focus goes, that's where the energy goes. It's, it's simple. We have that capacity. And the more we train ourselves into that, the more we start living in the quantum reality, in the subtle dimensions, not only the dimensions that you are, are over the loss of matter, which is that decaying of matter, the, 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 the weight, the heaviness of matter, but we're opening up actually to the light, to the, to the, to the expansion, to the glow, to the ascension of the quantum. The quantum is always in that space of evolution, always, right? And there's no time or space actually that can limit that state, because it's a state. So with just our intention of being in our hearts, being here for each other, breathing together, let's create a nice bubble of energy between us. Visualize this bubble of energy around the earth. Right now, we are connecting more than 50 countries around the world right now, just us. So we've got pretty covered. I do it at this time, just so you know, because it's a time that's good for most of the world, 90% of the world. Like some people have to wake up at four or five, but some people do, right? So um, let's breathe together, guys. Let's, let's, before anything else, let's just connect. And remember, we are bringing that vibration of the energy of the earth right now together. We are helping the earth on this next level that the earth is coming through as a being. The earth is a living being, right? So together, we help her as organs of a body, same thing, cells of a body. We are raising the vibration in ourselves to take everything to the next level, our lives to the next level, and the life on earth to the next level. So with this intention of upgrading, of evolving, of ascending, of expanding, of living in real abundance, abundance for all, abundance for we, not just me, me, me. It's the we time, letting go of the me and opening up to the we. We are, I am, we are. 
So with that consciousness, let's breathe together in the heart. And exhale with the sound. And just relax. Let your face relax. Let your jaw relax when you exhale. Anything that you're carrying from your day, from your morning, from your night. Inhaling. Pure love, pure light. Exhale, just release. You can use the hands as I'm using them or not. Whatever feels good for you. Inhaling. And relax. I am. I am. Anybody can breathe. Everybody can breathe. If you can breathe, you can do quantum flow, right? It's the, it's the way to wake up the energy in you. It doesn't matter your rhythm. It doesn't matter how deep you can breathe or not. It doesn't matter even if you can move your arms. It's about your breath. Breathing as deep as you can. And then exhaling and letting go with the exhalation with a little bit of sound. Right? That sound helps you relax more because it touches the vagus nerve, which is like the remote control of your whole parasympathetic nervous system. It's your capacity to relax, to surrender, to enjoy life, to go in flow. Keep breathing, guys. Let's do seven more. Two more, we've got this. One more. Now inhale, stretch your arms. Hold it, expand it, stretch it up, expand it. Relax your jaw, relax your neck, expand it more. And then exhale, relax, receive, let your arms relax, visualize, feel or know that the energy is coming through your crown, into your brain, to your throat, to your heart, down into your core, down into the pelvic floor, down to the earth. And then connecting with the center of the earth, just with your intention, inhale, open your arms up, Bring it all the way up into the sun, the great central sun, all the galaxy. I am a galactic being. I am a light being. I am. I am. I am. Hold it. Relax your shoulders. Bring it through your mouth and expand it more. Stretch it. Relax. Remember to be relaxed. And then exhale. Receive that golden light shower coming through your crown. Let your body move if it feels good to move. That inner smile, that gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So first we open up to that connection, that channel of energy that we are between heaven and earth. Yes, both masculine and feminine energies unite in our heart. Let, let's do one more, inhaling as deep as you can. Two, 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 that's a good number right there. Breathe it through your mouth whenever you're ready. Zip it in through your mouth and let your heart, your chest expand. So this is the nervous plexus related to your heart chakra. Expand it more, stretch it more, but relax. And then whenever you're ready, receive. Deep breath. Hands together. Interlace your fingers, activate your muscles, hold it, chin in, hold it, navel in, hold it, hold it, navel in, squeeze, 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 relax your jaw, and then exhale, let the heart expand. <sighs> yes, visualize it, feel it, or know that it's expanding. We're working on the heart chakra. It's all about the energy on your heart, your thymus gland, your immunologic system, your freedom, your love, your expansion. Yeah, feels good. Let's do it again. Hands together. 
activate your muscles just enough. Look, I'm not like this, right? I'm like soft and gentle, just enough, yes? Then take a deep inhalation. Activate them even more, activate your belly. Navel in, pelvic floor active. All the muscles in the pelvic floor, activate. Relax your jaw, remember to smile, remember to enjoy your practice. Yes, visualize all the energy in the heart right now and now expand it all around you. <sighs> ah, so good, huh? Let's do one more. Now, hands together. Exhale all the air out and squeeze the navel in. Squeeze the pelvic floor, the muscles in your pelvic floor, those muscles you, you use when you want to stop peeing right? You want to hold your pee. Those are the muscles you use. Take a deep breath. Exhale. This sound helps you activate those muscles. Shh. Activate them. Activate them. That's it. That's it. Navel in. Pelvic floor active. Activate them. Relax your jaw. Inside, you are soft and gentle. That's it. Keep them active. Now inhale. Hold it. Keep them active. Keep squeezing. Relax your jaw. Let the energy Ascend all the way up to the heart, right there. That's it, keep squeezing. Yes, 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 I am. And expand. <sighs> and let it expand all around you. Close your eyes, just feel. Take a deep breath, as deep as you can. Hold it, again, zip it in through your mouth. <sighs> Close your eyes, expand it more. Stretch it as if they're stretching you from one hand to the other. Opening the chest, relax your jaw, relax your neck, enjoy your expansion, and then exhale, receive. Ah, let it flow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, always in gratitude. Yes, yes, yes. Let the hands come back to the center of the chest. Thank you so much. Let yourself tap into gratitude right now. What are you grateful for? I know sometimes there's challenges. I know sometimes it looks like that the, the dark tunnel doesn't end, but there's always a place for connecting with the light, with the positive side of life, with transforming challenges into opportunities. Take your time to give thanks for life, for love, for food, for breath, for relationships, anything you can thank right now. And just feel it, feel the gratitude. Go beyond your personal reality. Go beyond your circumstance right now. That is your 3D reality. Let's tap into the subtle dimension of the quantum field and tap into the gratitude of love, of freedom, of life, of expansion, of abundance. Yes, say yes to abundance. Say yes to love. Smile. That inner smile from within. Yes, yes, yes. That inner smile I can cultivate every day. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, feel that emotion. Feel that emotion. Take a deep breath. Zip it in through your mouth. Yes, now double that emotion. Let that gratitude double even more and expand your arms with the exhalation. And let that gratitude expand even more in your life. Let yourself be grateful. Just be in gratitude. Just be in gratitude for life, for being you, for being alive and awake. And from this place of gratitude, let's feel each other. Let's feel the connection we're creating together. In the quantum field, we are connected right now with our intention. And we're lighting up the planet together. Let's visualize from wherever you're at, all this light you're cultivating inside of you. Let's visualize it going all around you. Spreading in your house, your family your neighbors, your community, 
the country you're at right now, the whole planet, expand it, feel the whole planet, see it, or just know that you're lighting it up with your intention, with your breath, with your presence, with your love, with your commitment to being the best version of you, to live in your highest self. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The whole planet is right now lit up and now expand that light all around us, all the other planets. We shine like a sun. We shine like a sun. The earth becomes a sun. It's pure light. And we share that light with all the universe. It's infinite. I am infinite. I am. Yes. 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 And now with your intention, Just receive any gift, any upgrade, any idea, anything that wants to come through for you right now. I am open. I am receptive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this opportunity. I say yes to my inner genius. I say yes to my inner truth. I say yes to my highest self, to my connection with my guardian angels, the light beings that guide me, that inner voice that's always there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That inner gut, that inner knowing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coming back to that power that's not depending on anyone or anything outside of us. Ah, and so it is. Feel it. Feel it. I am a sovereign being of light. I am a sovereign being of light. I am a sovereign being of light. I choose to live from the power of my soul. <laughs> and so it is. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bringing your hands to your heart. <laughs> you guys are powerful. Woo! <laughs> you guys feel that? <laughs> Whoa. Ah, oh, take your time to come back, right? Be in your heart. Remember the timeless gland activation right there, immunologic system right there. You know, if you need to come back even more because you're maybe in the ether, bring yourself back. <laughs> ah, thank you all so much. I didn't plan this at all. This is beautiful. I love when we, guys, when we tune in. I love your energy. I love what we co-create together. Thank you for that. I think we're done for the day, guys. Well done. <laughs> Please share this with your friends, guys. People need to see this. People need to tune into this. Imagine if we create this vertex even bigger. Please share. Please press the share button and let's share this gratitude, this love, this energy, this freedom. They'll go, they'll come and watch the replay or they'll just join the energy because what happens is when people join now, even though they haven't been in the activation, there's so many people in this frequency that, 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 that the other guys that just pop in, they just go right into it. And they're like, whoa, what is this? They start surfing the wave. And, you know, it can feel a little weird at the beginning. But then you're like, whoa, this is kind of cool. <laughs> this is the real life. <laughs> mm. All right, guys, let me just see. How are you guys doing? Are you guys grounded? How is it feeling for you? Oh, lots of countries coming through. Thank you, guys. You wrote a lot here. That's good. That's good. So good to see so many people tuning in from so many places. All right. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys doing? Yes. Oh, my God. That's so beautiful. Yeah, look how grateful we are with each other, guys. Just take a look at the comments. Always when we jump in the live, remember, this is this is not about me, right? Like, I'm almost like, you know, this is how Facebook works. We can't have, like, all the faces of everyone, but we've got each other's energy. And... Um, and right now you are, you are, you know, you can go and check the comments and see how amazing everyone is here. If it's your first time on the tribe, welcome. Just go check it out. Just go and see the love, the love. We have attracted each other. 
We really have attracted each other. It's all about vibration, right? And when you find the right people too that can match your frequency and that can grow together with you and can support you and understand your language, right? Because it's the language of the soul. This is not a woo-woo thing. This is a normal thing right now. You know, something very, someone very rational will come and say, what is that? It's okay. They won't, they won't be able to hold this energy and, and it's okay. They'll actually come and actually not be vibrating on this energy that we're creating together because they, they're, they're not there yet. And it's also okay. We respect where everybody's at. But when you feel the call, when you feel the pull, when you, when you know, when you know you can share anything in any way from like the most crazy part of your ego coming up in your life, right? That feels kind of weird and you feel kind of embarrassed in feeling what you feel or thinking what you think or stuff like that, but you know you can share it in the tribe, especially in the Quantum Flow tribe. If you're not part of the, the Facebook uh, group, the Quantum Flow tribe, please comment below with, with Quantum, uh, Quantum, just Quantum, and we'll send you the link because the cacao ceremony we're doing for free, actually, together, it's going to be very deep, live music and everything, is going to be in that tribe. So we recommend you come and join us if it's your first time and you felt it and you did the breath work and you're feeling it and you're like, oh yeah, this feels really good. And you know, this is not like, oh, if you're part of our tribe, you just can be of our tribe. Like, it's the world tribe, right? There's not one tribe. There's so many tribes gathering and it's great that you're part of many tribes, but know that here you can find people where you can be you, you can express yourself, you, you want other people to shine. There's not like cutting people down, bringing people down. Like we all support each other. We all celebrate our wins. We all rise together. We all know that we're creating a new world together. We're, we're there. We're done. If you're, if you're done with playing the old game, if you're done with playing the old paradigm, if you're done with, with the story of, of precedents and, and the world being ruled in a certain way with the same people guiding the same things and, and, and creating everything the same with different masks and different roles and different characters, but it's all the same, right? <laughs> it's all the same. So if you're kind of done with that, welcome. Welcome, you found your tribe <laughs> and we're not here like rebelling and conspiracy theories and all that. I'm not about that. Like, you know, if you ask me questions, I'll tell you what I feel and, 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 and I'm always open to that. But I'm not here, you know, talking about politics and about blah, 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 everything that we could be talking about and creating duality because all those themes are to create duality. That's why I don't support them that much. I feel if people are hungry for the truth, they will come look for it. And they'll come ask and, and, the, and the truth will be revealed. And if they're not ready to receive the truth, it's also okay. You, you come to a place when you feel so empowered. And that's why we love working with quantum flow, right? Because quantum flow empowers you, connects you. So once you're doing those breath work and those activations and you're waking up dormant parts of your brain and you're opening your energy, your channel, of course, there's going to be a point where it's like, why am I doing this? Because other people do it. Why do I have this job? I, really, I don't really like my job. Why am I in this relationship? Like this person is constantly humiliating me. Like why am I making love to this partner right now that I don't really even love? I'm just used to having sex with this person. This is not the partner of my dreams. Why am I not good with money? Like I'm a fucking rock, rock star, you know? Like you start seeing all these things and, and seeing how amazing you are. How amazing you are when you find your gifts and your purpose and you get so empowered, you feel so good with yourself. You found yourself, you found the universe in you, you found that no time, no space where everything is just flowing in divine perfection, in divine pulsation. Once you're there, you're in that wholeness. Once you're in the wholeness, you're not into fighting anymore. And no, because it's this precedent. And no, because they're doing that because of that reason and, and fighting and being angry and frustrating with all these people that sooner or later, guys, the truth, the truth will be revealed. There's nothing to fight for. You don't have to fight for it. All we got to do or all we recommend to do is empower yourself. Empower yourself. Wake up yourself. And then you feel like, no. I don't want a vaccine or no, I don't want that. Uh, no, that's not me. I know there's another way to do that. No, I know like I can alter my immunologic system and not live in fear. And I, I just don't choose that. I know there's another way, but I'm going to look for it. I'm not going to just be a feather that's going from side to side. No, no, thank you. No, I'm not that. But also I'm not going to be just 
one of one cow in the herd, right? Going behind like whatever they're calling me to do because that's what's normal to do and they're doing it for fear. You know what I mean? Just to give an example, same as if I do feel like, oh, I need the vaccine because that's what feels good and I need that because that's the only way to be saved and whatever. Well, that's your truth. Then there's a lesson there, right? And then you do it and then you, and then you receive like the consequences of the vaccine or not. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Everything is like this. That is the consciousness. And we all have lessons to learn. But once you wake up, you don't need to learn by giving yourself hard. You don't need to learn by suffering. You learn through love. And this is why I love. You've always seen me sharing cacao ceremonies. It's been 20 years sharing cacao ceremonies. 20 years, guys. And I think I'm going to share them forever because I love them. And I don't even call them cacao ceremonies anymore. They're cacao activations. Now there's a lot of cacao ceremonies out there that I just feel kind of have gone in a completely other way. And um, this is just something different that we do because we do with quantum flow, we do activation, we, we really empower ourselves. So actually the core of what we're going to be doing because actually if you if you don't if you're just jumping in and you have no idea what i'm talking about i'm talking about an activation we're going to be doing the 30th for free live music we're going to have the best time ever i'm going to give you the best recipe of cacao which is the fruit of chocolate which wakes you wakes up your energy it makes you feel so good and helps you enter a state of consciousness higher than where you're at right now it elevates your vibration so um, we also have a recipe in the quantum flow tribe that you can go look at and, and do your own cacao it's super simple it can just be cacao and water Simple as that. You can find it in any health food store, even in supermarkets, they sell it now. You can find it anywhere. And preferably if it's organic, if not, it's okay. But it's all about what cacao does. And that's just the beginning because what we're really doing is activating the energy. We're waking up the energy in our bodies. You know our bodies are our vessels, are our vehicles of manifestation. Our bodies hold the memories from our past and at the same time, our bodies have our capacity to bring our future to the now. They, we have both. It's like a duality that we live in our bodies, right? Both are available right now for you. So if you don't do the work and you don't shift, and that's what we do with quantum flow. We shift it. We shift it from the nervous system. We shift it from the unconscious mind. We shift all those patterns that are holding you back from the past, right? That have been memorized in your body, in the body memory. It actually becomes a body armor. It becomes really stiff and it creates this kind of armor around you. And you keep repeating the same things, receiving the same results all the time. But once you set yourself free from that, you have the capacity to use your body as energy. Your body can tap into the quantum field as a vehicle. Same as, as a vehicle can, can, can open up um, and receive, an antenna can receive the energies that are being emitted, the radio waves, uh, whatever waves coming through. Same, same thing, our, our body becomes an antenna, a vehicle that can receive those waves. Right. So if we align our body and we clear it and we open it up and we release all the trauma from the body or the body memory from the nervous system, which is the base of it all. Once you do that, once you do that, then you're able to receive all these new ideas, full creativity, your inner genius, full energy, everything. Right. That's really what's going to happen. So the more you do it, the more it opens up. So that is the work of quantum flow that we're going to be doing tomorrow. I mean, the 30th, right? And we're going to be using cacao to do that too. Cacao is going to accelerate the process. Okay, so through cacao, we drink cacao together, whatever cacao you have. You drink it, you let it in. We start moving the body, we start breathing, we, we meditate, we open up, we have live music. We raise our vibration really high, it feels amazing. And then you connect with your intention. You connect with your intention for 2021. We go for it deep. And then we open up as a tribe to celebrate, we sing, we, 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 um, we go super deep in, into our own journey, but we also connect with the whole tribe. So it's a very, very beautiful, profound journey. And for me, it's an offering I do to the community because I feel it's very important to celebrate. To celebrate, even if this was your worst year ever, let's celebrate it. Let's celebrate because we had a lot of learnings, right? A lot of lessons came through, 
right? So we celebrate it. And if it was the best year ever, we celebrate it too. Like the celebration, it's not directly related if your life is best ever right now or not. That's not how the quantum field works. That's, but that's a very old model of reality. It's the, the Newton model of reality. You know, hit, and then the, with the same intensity, uh, the hit comes back, right? Or, yeah, until I see the clown, I won't laugh, right? And this is another way to approach life, which is the quantum reality, where you are grateful for what you're manifesting already. You see it that you already manifested it. It's already done. Yes. So this is what uh, this big activation is it's going to take us into and connect with that state of gratitude, of joy, of bliss. Actually, cacao is is one of the most blissful foods because it wakes up the anandamide, which is like the bliss chemical inside. It's like a, it's, 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 uh, it, it, it wakes up in the nervous system, helps the serotonin be se um, secreted, and it opens up to that vibration of bliss. It actually activates the gamma brain waves, which are the brain waves of bliss. So it's all connected to a place that you're going to feel so good that you're just going to say, yes, like this is already done. I'm there. This is the best year ever. This is happening no matter what. And you're going to be supported by the tribe too. Okay? So more or less, I'm kind of summarizing what the cacao ceremony is going to be about, the cacao activation. But if you're not part of it yet, please comment below with cacao. Comment below with cacao and we'll send you the invitation so you can join us and you can check the recipe. It's a recipe that I give all the colors of the rainbow from just cacao and water to like cacao with all the superfoods you can imagine that enhance the power of cacao. So I actually teach you how to do the cacao as a normal beverage, like a morning smoothie that you can have that focuses your mind, full of antioxidants. That What does that mean? That means like it releases all the free radicals that are the ones that... Um, are creating the sickness in you that call the virus that create the, the cancer that acidify the blood. It's really not good to have free radicals in your body. And there, the body is always full of free radicals. So what cacao does is like cacao comes in and releases the free radicals of the body. It's an antioxidant. It has this like negative ion that's awakened and the negative ion attaches to the positive ions, which are the free radicals that are the ones that are almost taking energy from the body and it releases it out. Okay. So this is one of the few things that cacao does, but the, the most amazing thing is because of the activation we'll be doing and what we'll be connecting, it's going to expand it even more. If you just drink cacao, you feel good. But if you drink cacao and you do quantum flow, you're going to be expanding more than ever. I promise you, especially if you haven't done quantum flow before. <laughs> yes, guys. So cacao, please comment cacao. If you want more information, we can send you that. We can send you everything, everything um, related so you can understand more the art and the science of cacao. Hmm. I even I just put out there in my in, in this page, I put um, three recipes of cacao. One is like cacao bars. Another one is uh, a hot cacao, a hot chocolate. And another one is this cacao smoothie. And um, they're there in one of my videos. Yes, if you want the recipes, also let us know and we can, we can uh, send you the recipes too if you want to check out the recipes. So just write down recipes there and we'll send you that link so you can uh, connect with with the beauty and the magic of cacao in every way possible we use cacao in every way it just feels so good yeah guys so i want to focus a little bit now on the pineal gland and why it's so important to now open up to the pineal gland um by the way Please comment below if you've done if you've done the cacao ceremony before and you've loved it. Let people know if it's their first time because sometimes people are like, hey, what's going on? What's happening? What is this? What is this crazy guy jumping and putting us to breathe everyone and everybody commenting? Is this like a 
Is this like a sect or something? Like what's going on? <laughs> Is this religious? What are these guys about? You know, <laughs> please let us know if uh, you've done the ceremony and, 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 you know, you've got the, the, the best time ever. So it's not just me talking about it, but you've lived it before. And you know what it is. And you know that I'm not, you know, uh, creating any, any false expectation here. Because it definitely opens you up to another level. Wherever you're at, you're going to go to the next level. Trust me. Wherever you're at. And I know some of you guys are leaving the best life ever right now. And you're like, oh, my life is pretty good. Why well, I want more? I'm okay. There's always more. There's always more. There's always more expansion. There's always more. And if you, you have the best, best life ever for you, then start giving, start giving, start serving, start sharing with, with others. You know, that's what's left after that, right? It's sharing because you receive so much when you share. So now it's such an important time to open up to community, even though we are in lock-in, right? We're going within. It's so important to connect in community. That's also why I'm doing cacao, because it's important to have this connection and know that anything that's happening right now in our lives, it's okay. It's normal. It's okay to feel anxious, to feel frustrated, to feel you're not good enough, to feel this trauma woke up that you haven't tapped into in long time ago. You're feeling fear. You're feeling doubt. Guys, it's all welcome. I'm working with so many clients right now, so many students, so much going on right now in so many people's lives. I tell you, it's not only you. There's a lot going on. I, I hadn't felt like anxiety and frustration and like, and like um, overwhelmed like in a long time. And I've been waking up in the morning through that. Like I thought I cleared it out of my body because you can clear it out, right? And for some reason, deeper layers are coming up, which I'm really grateful for. It's like, okay, thank you for coming. Thank you. Welcome. Actually, welcome. Let me clear you. And you know, undo my quantum flow and it just, it's released and it's transformed. And that's why I love this method that it just opens you up and takes you, it releases the trauma from your body. But then you're going through deeper and deeper layers. But now the energy is so intense in the planet that now this energy is going deep and bringing from the nervous system, from your unconscious mind, digging deep and bringing it out into the surface as never before. So b before parts that you didn't have available for you because they were very, very deep. They were very unconscious. They were very hidden. They were very underneath, right? They were the blind spots now are available for you and you can shift them just like that. Yes, when you shift them in the right way. Not just like, yeah, I'm abundant. It's all love. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> that's cool. That's going to help you. But you got to shift it from your body. You got to release it. You got to transform it. Right? And that's why we work from the base of the spine, each one of the nervous systems that we actually call the belts of tension because these belts are actually muscles around the nervous system that have been stiff, that have created this body armor. If these muscles keep being tense, they're going to be affecting the nervous system. If the nervous system is still like crystallized and kind of like also, not at its maximum percent, it's kind of like contracted into a crystal instead of being expanded like a flower, you know? You see the difference? It's like, oh, it's like a rock. You know, it's hard because the grounding substance, which is what helps everything be communicated in the nervous system, the grounding substance starts solidifying, starts crystallizing. So the nervous system starts contracting. Right? So that contraction is you living in density, you struggling, you not being able to manifest, you not being able to expand, you feeling frustrated and anxious and fearful and all those low vibration emotions because your nervous system, the part in your body that holds the emotions, it's contracted. So what we do is like we release the belts of tension from the base of the spine, right? All the way up, all the way into the nervous system. And that starts expanding. And that expands like a flower. And then that is like an emanation that they call chakras or energy centers. It's an emanation that goes all around you. So the work you do it from within 
and you start opening up all the layers until you expand it. And that's the radiancy. That's when you someone comes into the room and you're like, whoa, who's that? Like, I want to do what that person is doing, <laughs> right? It's like, that's really cool. I, it, I feel it. I don't know what it is. And, and people feel it. You don't even have to talk about it. Yeah. So you start living it instead of talking about it, instead of reading books and then telling others the philosophy of what is the best for the mind, the best for the heart, the best for health, the best for business, the best for... That's great. There, there can be any strategy. But if you're using strategy and you're still contracted, you're going to be trying very hard. You're going to be pushing a lot. Life is going to get hard. You're going to get there. But how are you going to get there? How able are you going to be to enjoy the way, the journey, right? How able are you going to be to, when you get there, to be in gratitude and really let it in, really integrate it in every cell of your being. That's what really life is. If not, we're always searching. We're always looking. We're always empty, right? There's always something to fill in. Let me fill in the blanks somehow. Let me buy something new. Let me now eat that food. Let me now have more sex. Let me now get lost in Facebook. Let me now find always some kind of distraction to kind of anesthetize that feeling of emptiness that humanity has fallen into because we have disconnected from our natural state. That's why we feel lonely. That's why we feel not complete. That's why we don't feel good enough. That's why we get lost in the human experience. Instead of navigating and thriving in the human experience that we're here to thrive, we get lost as souls. It's like a soul, lost soul in the human experience because there's not the synchronicity from within for us to hold the vibration and the energy and the gifts that are here to be embodied by us. We're living like at a 10% of what we're here to live. So that's why everything, how we act, how we move, how we talk, how we think, how we feel, everything is very limited. And talking actually about the belts of tension and this like energies that get concentrated in your body, we have one that's the ocular belt of tension, right? And this one is the one that makes you look like a horse. You're like, oh, this is the only way. This is the only solution there is. If I can't do that, if I don't open this door, if this door closed to me, I can't get there anyway, anyhow. There's no way. I'm just going to lose my hope. And that's where people lose the hope instead of seeing it as like, oh, what am I not seeing? Can I liberate all this tension that I'm carrying here? Do it right now, guys. Just touch it around here. Just feel how much tension you have in all these muscles, it's crazy. It's crazy. You can feel it. You can feel it. It's crazy. It's all around, right? It's so good to do it. And then you release here. You release the jaw. It's actually a physical thing. It feels really good. All right? Oh. And then... Blah, 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 blah. Feel that. Feel that. It's, it's, it's simple, easy, and amazing the tongue, all the muscles of the throat. Every time we haven't spoke our truth, every time we've said yes when it was a no, every time we said you know when it was a yes, every time, guys, every time there's a blockage here. There's a contraction here. Every time. And that's why it's so important not only to clear the contractions you're having today, when you betrayed yourself, today when you didn't listen to yourself, where you didn't speak your truth, where you didn't show up as the best version of you and you knew it, you knew you had that opportunity, but you kind of got distracted. You self-betrayed yourself. You kind of went to procrastination, right? Every time you do that, it contracts, it contracts until it becomes your natural state. So then it's this, okay. This is the only way. I'm a horse. I can't see anywhere else. I can't see anywhere else. And all we have to do is decodify all this, the, the optical nerve inside, pineal gland, amygdala, hippocampus, thalamus, hypothalamus, thalamus gate, all the parts of the brain, right? That it's like a cave where the pineal gland is at the center, like a jewel. And we can arrive to the pineal gland once we've cleared and liberated everything. 
but it's harder to get to the pineal gland if you haven't opened up all these tensions around here. That's why everything is important. I see so many people meditating for so many hours and just trying so hard and they can't. The majority of them, they can and they give up because they're just trying to meditate. They're just trying to close their eyes and put their mind in blank and just start to uh, wake up the pineal gland and open to their intuition and, and, and expecting to see visuals and to see uh, the movie of, 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 of a solution to a problem or, or an angel coming through or a unicorn or I don't know what expectation we can have, right? <laughs> There's so many expectations in the spiritual path and it's so simple as start to release all the tensions, start to open up, start going deeper and deeper and deeper until you get to the pineal gland where the pineal gland has been calcified because of the food we eat, because of the, 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 the oxygen we breathe, which is not even oxygen, it's full of plastic and it's full of heavy metals and it's full of all the craziest things you can imagine. Yes, the air. You can, you can go Google that. The air, it's like more contamination than just like, oh, the fumes. Like we're breathing plastic, guys. It's crazy. We are literally breathing plastic and heavy metals. And those stay, they can't leave your body, right? And some of them goes, the fluoride, the chlorine, all everything that's in the water, in the salt, all that goes and starts calcifying the pineal gland, right? Calcifying, calcifying until it becomes like, like, a, like a rock, Right? It's surrounded by like a like a like a crust, like a shell. And it's not it, it, it loses its juiciness. It loses its its capacity to 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 be a vehicle, an antenna, to be a receptor. The pineal gland is here to be a receptor. You want your creativity? You want your inner genius? You want to open up to really see big, 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 big vision? the vision of your vision and being able to, 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 to open up to that and embody that, it's related to your pineal gland. Because if you don't open that and you're like this and that is dead right there, it's kind of dormant, you're always going to be acting in the same way like a horse. I can't see anything else. No, they said no. Okay, whatever. That's, that means that wasn't good for me. That means that's not meant to be for me. That means I'm dreaming too big. Let me just be smaller. Let me just adapt like another brick in the wall. Let me just, whatever. Let me just calm down. That was, I'm just a dreamer, as everybody says, as humanity says. No, no, you're not just a dreamer. You are a dreamer, but you are a dreamer that is able to materialize too. You don't just stay in the dream, but you got to do the work in order to Open up to the dream. First, you open fully to the dream. You trust in the dream. You connect with the dream. You connect with the vision. You actually let it come through because the vision is not even yours. It's the vision that wants to come through you. It's not even you. It's your soul that has a certain why on this planet, a purpose. And once you tap into that, you let it be. You let it come. You let it open. You let it, you let it, you let it just transpire in every cell of your being. Right? Once you surrender to it. But first, you got to open to that dream, to that vision, live it, say yes to it. And then, okay, now, how do I bring it to the now? How do I materialize it? Okay, I got to align my body in every layer of the being, align my body to open up so I can receive all of this. If I'm closed, no matter how much I try, no matter how much I want to expand, I'm not going to be receiving all these energies available to me. Okay? So this is, this is good to know why it's so important, the work, the deep inner work of activating the energy, opening up the pineal gland, and really opening up to that capacity that you have of knowing, not giving your power away anymore. You know. You know. Stop giving your power away to others. You know. But in order to tap into that knowing, it's the inner work. And this is part of what we're going to be doing in the cacao activation, right? If you just popped in, I just saw some people saying, where, where are we doing that? This sounds amazing. Oh my God, this is incredible. Okay, so when you go, um, when you go, deep into the heart, you open up the heart and you're ready to say yes to that and it's resonating for you, yes? You, 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 you say yes to your full potential and when you say yes to your full potential, it starts manifesting. 
it starts being embodied, right? But you got to say yes through your body, the cells in your body, your mind, your emotions, your energy. And this is what we're going to be doing together the 30th, okay? It's a free cacao activation doing quantum flow, with it, which is this methodology of breath, of movement, of realignment. Everything I've been talking about, that's quantum flow, just so you know. You're like, okay, what is that? Where do I do that? How do I get that? Well, that's quantum flow. That's what we're, we're, we're going to be sharing for free, okay, for you guys. It's going to be very powerful ceremony activation. It's nothing religious. It's just come with an open heart. You can have any religion you want or not even have a religion. It doesn't matter. It's about connecting to infinite love, infinite light, God, however you want to call this unified field. Some people that are very rational, it's like, I can't even call it God. I need to call it unified field because I know it's a pulsation that is life. I know that it, that exists. I can trust that. It's okay. It's whatever you want to call it. Don't worry. It's that pulsation. It's that connection that's inside, outside. It's in the nothingness and it's everywhere. It's all of it, right? We're tapping into that together. So we're going to be doing that. And you want to join us, just comment below with cacao, cacao. And we'll be sharing this amazing journey with you. And just so you know, cacao is one of the most powerful foods to detoxify your pineal gland, to open you up from within. Yes, and I'll be sharing another, other superfoods that are good for this um, on the light, on the activation too. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing when you start going deep into that journey of opening up different layers of your being. I actually name a lot of them in the live stream, in the, in the Quantum Flow Tribe live stream I just posted, uh, where I explain the whole recipe and everything. So if you're interested in joining us, just come check it out. Comment below with uh, Cacao and we'll let you know all the information. Please share this live stream too. That's the only thing I'm asking. If we can expand this vortex to more and more people, that's the only thing I ask. This, this, I could charge a hundred dollars for this ceremony. I, I, I sometimes we sometimes charge that because it can take from two to three hours, and it's a lot of work. And there's a musician, and, and there's a lot going on in the ceremony, right? And um, yeah, it's it's a service to you guys. It's a service with all our love. Jamie Jamieson is going to be here too. He's going to be sharing his beautiful music. Amazing musician. He's been doing quantum flow for a long time. So we, we, we're super connected. He's super intuitive. A master musician and also super intuitive. You know, it, it's having that balance. It's beautiful because you have like the amazingness of like the maestro, but at the same time, you're super tuned in. You know when to do a note and when not to, when to expand, when to be silent, when to bring it up because the energy is up, like he's really tapped in. So we're going to be doing that um, together. So the only thing that we're asking from you guys is if you can share this with uh, your tribe, if you can just press the share button, if you can tag people in here and bring more people into the tribe or more people into the ceremony, like just come check it out. If you don't like the tribe, you can leave the tribe after. Don't, don't worry. We don't want anyone that doesn't want to be there. Only people that love that connection and that love that vibration and that want to hold each other there, stay in the tribe. That's that's the whole idea. But maybe you you like that. Maybe you want to be in that in that vibration. Maybe you want to feel that support right now. Maybe you want to feel that love and, and, and hold that space for others too. Maybe that's for you. So then maybe you want to stay in the tribe. Maybe not. There's no obligation. Just come and, and join us and, and, and have fun and have your intention and, and go deep and, and share it with others. That's the only thing we are asking. All right, guys? Yeah. Any other questions? Oh, lots of cacao. So good. So many... Yes, you can tag anyone, Cindy, anyone here. Yes, yes. Jamie, Jamie son is so amazing. Yes, yes. Celebrating quantum flow. Yes, yes. Celebrating our quantum flow certification. Yes, guys, that's another thing that we're having. Is that... Um, there's a lot of certified practitioners and I want to just give a shout out to all of you guys. 
Um, there's many of them right now that have done the process, the methodology, the inner training, the inner mastery training, which is like upgrade your life to the next level, every area of your life, right? And start the, the journey. It's not that it's okay. It's done in six weeks, right? But you start the journey, but then you start sharing it with others. So there's many of you here. I want to celebrate you here. And part of the cacao is celebrating you guys, celebrating you're on the path, celebrating you're in service because it's beyond like, oh, now you're a quantum flow practitioner. Like you are a light for humanity. You're helping already so many people. There's, there, there's so much that's going on, like being in full service right now. And we need that so much right now in the planet, guys. We need people to show up in their greatness. We need people to show up in their inner gifts. We need people to say yes to their soul, to their purpose, to their divine purpose, and to accept that they are here to be part of the change. Not here to criticize, not here to be a victim, not here to just put the power outside and say, oh, that's wrong and that's wrong and that's wrong and pinpoint out there. No, they're here to say it starts within. I'm going to change myself. I'm going to upgrade my life to be the best ever. And then from there, I'm going to expand out to the world. And I'm going to help as many people as I can while I'm helping myself, my family, everyone around me, the whole community. So for me, that's the celebration beyond a title, you know, that now they have a title and they, they have the right to share it and all that. That's amazing. But that's just, you know, it's, it's just a formality. What's most important is the process they've been into and also be in service. So I want to celebrate you guys so much. Thank you for being here too. Thank you for saying yes to your soul. Thank you for going deep into that and, and, and surrendering. I know sometimes it can be challenging. I know sometimes you confront yourself to parts of you that we don't like that much, right? We get to see parts of us, but then we get to upgrade that and open it up to the next level. That's what it's all about. So I really, really, um, really, really grateful for all this process and, and for this opening in humanity. And I also want to celebrate, guys, celebrate us all for the service that we're doing in humanity in any way. Just whatever way you're serving, just by being you, just by connecting to your highest self, connecting to a supraconscious mind, giving some time to being meditation and connecting to that peace inside the storm, connecting to that joy, to that bliss, to that bliss of being alive and awake, to that bliss of being you and who you are. Like every time you connect to that, every time you commit and you, and you surrender yourself into that space of this is who I am. I'm owning it. This is my inner kingdom. This is my inner queendom. I'm here to shine bright. I am a light being. I am a soul living a human experience. I am here to expand 100% all my gifts, all my capacities. Like if you're on that path, whatever that path is, I, we also want to celebrate you right now. Because you're not only doing it for you, you're being an example for humanity. Even if you're not talking about it, remember it's all energy too. So you are stepping up and please be proud of yourself. Be grateful to you. We're so good at being like, oh yeah, whatever. But I didn't achieve that. But I didn't get that. But I don't know. But look at that person and look at that person. And we're always bringing ourselves down, right? Instead of like, Juanpa, that was amazing. Wow, well, well done. Man, that's so good. Well done. Yes. Okay, let's take that in. Ah, all right, good. Now, what's next? Oh yeah, that can be better. That can be better. That's okay, but... First, being grateful for anything you've done, even if it's just with your children, you know, letting your children know that life has a deep meaning, that there is a spiritual connection, that there is a God, that there is an infinite love that unites us all, that is not just about focusing on fear and like they can focus on love and in expansion and on union. If only you're doing that for your children, you're changing the world right now. Be grateful for that. Like every little thing you're doing to contribute with the world right now, please, please be grateful. Love yourself. Let yourself oh, tap into that inner love, that inner peace, that appreciation, that gratitude. Just of being. We're so lost in doing, guys. I feel we get so lost in doing sometimes, right? Been so programmed to do. But can we be in love with being? Like just being, just breathing. Do it right now. Just, just breathe. 
relax if there's any tension in your body right now just relax just be present with yourself and I choose to tap into that inner peace that natural state of love natural state of gratitude nature vibrates in gratitude nature is always giving it's always sharing I am nature that is my natural state so I can tap into that right now just let your breath be soft and gentle deep all the way down into your belly let yourself expand yourself open and surrender ah, let your body know that you're safe that you don't have to keep running anymore you don't have to keep reacting hiding living away from your purpose living unhappy living frustrated or angry that's not you it's not your natural state. You can let go of that. Just breathe. I am love. And I let love vibrate in every cell of my being. Thank you. Now focus, visualize, or feel the energy in the center of your chest. You can see it as a ball of golden light. You can feel it. We just know that it's there. It doesn't matter. And with the inhalation, let that light expand a little more. Again, connect with gratitude. Whatever you want to be grateful for, maybe for this moment of being together, of waking up humanity together, of creating a vortex of energy together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep breathing into your heart. And then ask your body, is there any tension anywhere? Is there any place in my body where I can give some love, some attention? Is there anything, any emotion I've been running away from? Just give yourself some time to be, to feel. Just ask your body, where is that emotion? Where is that located right now? You can feel it, you can see it, or just know that it's somewhere in your body. Just breathe into it. Breathe into that anxiety, that frustration, that anger, whatever emotion it's been present in your field. Breathe into it. Let it go. Let your body know that it's time to let it go. It's time to forgive. Forgive myself. I forgive anyone that is related to this uncomfortability, this wound, this pattern. I forgive, I let go, I am a free being, I choose freedom right now, choose love right now. Whenever you're ready, hold the inhalation very gently, all the way down into your belly, expand your belly, zip it in through your mouth. 
hold it and then exhale with the sun one more breathe pure love pure light into your heart into every cell of your body love is my natural state thank you thank you thank you i receive it i accept it i surrender to it and then hold your breath let your nervous system know that it can relax, that it can release the memories from the past, the neural circuitry that has been repeated so many times in the same way. <sighs> Zip it in through your mouth, expand it more. <sighs> expand it even more, let it expand. And then exhale with the sound, release. Ah. Feel that love surrounding you, protecting you, guiding you. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do one more at your own rhythm, inhaling very sweetly. Love is my natural state. Love is. I am love. I choose love. I choose to learn from love through love, in love. Hold it, that inner smile, let it be. Every cell of my being is vibrating in love right now. Zip it in through your mouth, that means take more air in through your mouth. <sighs> Relax, there's no tension. And if you can, take more air in through your mouth one more time. <sighs> Feel how your ribs expand, your chest expand, everything expands. Your whole nervous system is being rewired right now. And then exhale with the sound. Ah. And again, be grateful for this sacred moment, for this beautiful sacred body I have, for this energy that maybe I'm feeling, I am seeing, or knowing that I'm connecting no matter what. I'm choosing it. I'm choosing to live in the quantum field. I'm choosing to live in the quantum flow state where everything is in flow and I can tap into my infinite possibilities. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All my gifts are available to me right now and I'm here to share them with the world. I accept it. I surrender to it. And I know the whole universe supports me right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. Well done. Oh, that's so sweet, guys. Thank you for that. Very sweet feminine energy coming through. Love it. Ah, oh, so much bliss right now. Thank you for creating this together. Th that was you. That was you guys asking for a softer, sweeter energy. Sometimes I'm very fiery. <laughs> and then there's a signal in my body like, enough. Bring it to the heart. Wampa, enough. <laughs> no. I used to get burned down by it and not listen to it, but now I listen to it. And that's why I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for guiding us. <laughs> that's what really intuition is. We get so lost in trying to see angels and trying to see, you know, light beings and unicorns and the woo-woo thing. And it's no woo-woo thing. It's like you just develop that inner God, that inner feeling. That's always there. That inner voice, that's always there. It's always been there. It never taught us how to listen to it, how to follow it. But it is our natural state. Yeah, guys. Ah. Serving the world, guys. It's really about serving the world. Starting with us. So grateful to share this space with you guys. So grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Ah.
Oof, so many comments. Oh my God, yes, amazing. Oh, Jamie, Jamie Sun is here. Beautiful, my brother. I can't wait to go deep with you. Oh, yes, yeah, so many people tagging many people, sharing with many people. Thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. That was so deep, that was so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, so many comments, this is beautiful. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if you're feeling called to serve the world and to help others, you know, release the memories of the past and, and live the best life they can live, you wanna do it for you, you wanna do it for your family, you wanna do it for others, I recommend you to come and just give it a try. Give quantum flow a try. Come feel it, live it. Maybe it is the path for you. Maybe it is something that you love. Maybe it's something that resonates for you. Give it a try. Maybe you're gonna want to jump in the train of transformation. Next year, 2021, we're starting a whole inner mastery training, working on all these techniques that I've been talking about inner mastery training with ourselves and then whoever chooses to share it with the world which 95 percent of the people that do it choose to do it because they they feel so good with their own transformation and then they just want to share it with the world but it is a great opportunity to serve the world to jump into your purpose to, to do a quantum leap into your purpose and join us there's a beautiful group already of amazing souls actually there's few spaces left that I know I'm going to fill up because they always do. And the most amazing souls just attract each other and, and connect and we rise together. So this is a great way to start uh, the year 2021 together, having the best time and really owning who we are and embodying our purpose once and for all, starting that path that is just going to get better and better. So yeah, if you want to try it out, um, come to the cacao ceremony. If it's your first time, if you've never heard of quantum flow, come to the cacao ceremony. The good thing is you can try quantum flow not only with me, but with so many quantum flow practitioners. There's so many right now sharing this beautiful art and science. It's all based on quantum physics, neuroscience, neuroplasticity, kinesiology, Chinese medicine, yoga, qigong, energy medicine, energy matrix, hypnosis, NLP. It's like the whole science and art of transformation that I've been uh, working for over 25 years on myself. And I've been teaching others to, to tap into it for over 20 years. So it's, it's a beautiful methodology that you can learn, you can embody, and you can share with others. And um, you can go as deep as you want, as deep as you want to go. So come join us in the cacao if you want to join us. Comment below with cacao if you want to be part of that activation and you want to connect with the tribe. Yes. And if you want to know more about the quantum flow training, the inner mastery training, just write below training and we can share with you the details if you want to know more on how that works and, and you want to just check it out and feel if it resonates for you. Just write the word training and we'll share with you all the details. It's such a beautiful, beautiful time to be alive, guys, and to share our gifts with the world. I am so grateful, and I'm so grateful we can uh, share this in, in community, that we can share this between us, that we can expand this and create a new world together. <laughs> I feel so blissful right now, guys. I feel so good. Thank you all for this. I hope you guys are really feeling as good as I'm feeling. <laughs> I thank you all for being part of this community. I thank you all for the connection you have between you, that it's not just about me, because I don't like it when it's just about me. You guys know I'm not about that. My fan page, you know? My fan page is just an, ex an excuse you know, to get us together, but... You see, it's about us, and uh, I'm so grateful for us and for the beautiful future we have together. Whoever wants to join, 
and not only our community, but all these different communities that I know are getting together. I travel 20 countries a year, not now with COVID, but I do have connection with many communities from all over the world. And I just love what's going on. And I just love how people are stepping up. And I just love how people are owning their gifts and they're stepping into like, I don't want to be like a lawyer anymore. I want to help people. I want to help people be the best version of themselves. I don't want to be a banker anymore. Like, I want to help people live their best life ever. I want to bring consciousness to humanity. There's so much awakening going on right now. So much. It's so beautiful what's going on in the planet, guys. Can you, can you feel it? So much waking up. It's so nice. People like letting go of the fear that is holding us back and it's taking us to the next level. Letting go of the fear, it's taking us to the next level. So thank you for going to the next level together. <laughs> uh, yes, expanding the bliss across the whole world. Yes. Planning and doing training in mid-year 2021. Love to all the familia. Yes, please send yourself all the love. All the love for all the familia. Yes, familia linda. Love you all so much. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for being. Yeah. Pura Vida, as we say in Costa Rica. Maybe someday you'll come, you'll come and visit our healing center we're building right now. Maybe you can come and share with us this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful space, sacred space we're creating for you guys to come and chill and transform and thrive. <laughs> ah, bueno, familia. Un corazón de mi corazón a tu corazón Un solo corazón. From my heart to your heart. One heart.